welcome to Algebra 1. Welcome to Unit 0, which is our pre-algebra unit. Um, we are going to get started in this unit with order of operations. So our learning target, our goal for the day, is to be able to simplify using the correct order of operations. Now you've probably learned about the order of operations using the acronym PEMDAS, where P means parentheses, E means exponents, M means multiplication, D means division, A means addition, and S means subtraction. Following this acronym in order tells you what steps to take. You start off by dealing with the parentheses in a problem, then exponents, then multiplication, then division, then addition, then subtraction. Personally, I prefer the acronym PIMA, where P still represents parentheses, E still represents exponents, M now represents both multiplication and division, and A represents both addition and subtraction. The reason I use this modified acronym is because a lot of people struggle with when to do multiplication and division versus when to do addition and subtraction. If you remember PIMA, you'll remember that multiplication and division are actually the same step. The key to using this PIMA acronym is to work left to right within the problem. So we start off identifying all of the parentheses using P. Then we simplify all of the exponents, the E, Next, we're going to do all of the multiplication and division in the problem, working left to right. And finally, we're going to do all of the addition and subtraction left in the problem by working left to right. Alright, so let's go through a couple of examples of how to use the order of operations. In this first problem, we're going to start off by determining what needs to get done first. I don't see any parentheses in this problem, so I need to move on to E, which is exponents. I see a 3 to the second, which can be simplified. So I'm going to do that first. I'm going to rewrite everything else in the problem, but change that 3 to the second power to be a 9. Next I see division. I can divide the 9 by 3 in order to get a 3. So again, I'm going to rewrite the 5 minus 2 plus now 3 when I put the 9 divided by 3 together. And now I'm going to work left to right. So I see subtraction and addition both in the problem. So I will start with the 5 minus 2, since that's the first sign I see. Now I go 3 plus 3, and now all that's left in this problem is addition. So I add the 3's together to get a final answer of 6. All right, on to the next problem. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to think about Pima and look for parentheses. In this problem, we have some parentheses, so we're going to start off by simplifying those. You're going to see me rewrite the problem, but instead of 2 plus 3 in parentheses, I've now changed it to a 5. Now, in Pima, I would now be looking for exponents, but I don't see any in this problem. However, I do see some multiplication that I can do. 4 next to the 5 means that I can multiply that 4 and 5 to get a 20. I've got a small query for you. What comes next? Well, now, once again, we're asking ourselves, what comes next? Addition or subtraction? Remember, when we're down to just addition or subtraction, we work left to right. In this problem, I see the subtraction occurring first when I look left to right. I see the subtraction happening between the 30 and the 20. So I'm going to start off by taking care of that, making that a 10, and bringing down my 18. And now we're just left with addition to do 10 plus 18, equaling 28 for our final answer. To summarize this lesson, we have learned about the order of operations. We start every problem by taking care of the parentheses, followed by the exponents. Then we take care of multiplication and division all at once, working left to right. Following that, we work on addition and subtraction, again, working left to right, starting with the leftmost operation, ending with the rightmost. If you came away with any other observations, write them down now. Otherwise, this lesson is over.